Well, amazingly, it's almost seven years since that referendum in which the great British public voted to leave the European Union. What was it about? What was it for? Well, of course, primarily, it was about us being back in control of our own laws and our own borders. But there were one or two expectations that I think were quite realistic. Anybody working in small business expected the rule book to get simpler. Those working in industries like fishing thought the whole thing would become less burdensome. Actually, what's happened is through British authorities, in some ways, we're now even more uncompetitive than we were as members of the European Union. Oh, and into the bargain, corporation tax has just gone up by 30%. In terms of the integrity of the United Kingdom, what well, I'm afraid the Windsor framework pretty much for the foreseeable future cuts Northern Ireland off from the rest of the United Kingdom. But the big one, and the reason we won the referendum, was that big working-class vote and millions of Labour voters who felt immigration into Britain was completely out of control and running at too big a number. That is why the turnout was higher than anybody predicted. That is why Brexit won. And off the back of that, the Conservatives went to the country in 2019 promising immigration controls and an Australian-style point system. And we all thought, ha-ha. That sounds perfect. It means you're going to have to have genuine skills. It means you're going to have to have your own health insurance for, for at least four years, not be a burden on the state. But, of course, the thing about a point system is it depends where you set the bar. And we now define skilled workers coming into Britain as those who earn substantially less than the average wage in this country. Reports in today's Telegraph suggesting the government is expecting in 2024 net migration could soar through one million people. That would be over three times higher than the biggest ever year of net migration whilst we were still members of the European Union and effectively had open borders with, uh, with another 400 million people. So, we're at this point. Have the Tories failed on Brexit? And I have to say, I think for millions of people... Who were, not particularly, who were not normally very political, but got engaged in that referendum, the perception is that the Tories have failed. I think it's hugely disappointing. I made this point last night. Some are upset with me, but interestingly, Sherelle Jacobs, a Conservative commentator in today's Telegraph, has gone further. She says Brexit is now effectively dead. Have the Tories failed on Brexit? Give me your thoughts. Farage at gbnews.uk.